Hello, welcome back to the Castos YouTube channel. I'm Craig Hewitt. Today, we're gonna to be talking all about how you can use AI and chat GPT to make your life as a podcast easier, more productive, and ultimately create better content for your audience. Let's dive in. Okay, now we're logged into our chat GPT account at chat.openai.com. And I think the first thing to remember anytime you're dealing with ChatGPT is it's a conversation. You're literally having a conversation with a computer. And this is the beauty of how kind of deep we can go with OpenAI and ChatGPT. The thing I always think about is that this is a, a threaded conversation. It's literally like texting someone who's really smart and literally knows everything as of a couple of years ago. Uh, currently, OpenAI is only trained on information from about like 2021. So it's a couple of years old but it's really smart and it's always learning. And, and so just think about within a thread or a chat in the GPT parlance, you can feed it information and it will get smarter over time. That's what LLM is, large language models. So don't just think that it's a one-time transfer of information or exchange between you and the machine, but you can feed it information as you go within a chat. And so let's get started by asking ChatGPT interview questions that we could ask like an A-list celebrity. So let's say I'm going to interview Tim Ferriss on my podcast. That'd be a dream, right? <laughs> I'm going to interview Tim Ferriss on my podcast. Let's see what chat GPT comes up with in terms of asking good questions and being a good interviewer for Tim. I'm a podcast host. The name of my show is Rogue Startups. I'm interviewing Tim Ferriss on my show in a few weeks. Okay, now let's say what would be some good questions to ask Tim during the interview that would be interesting and beneficial for my audience? My podcast listeners are entrepreneurs, business owners, and generally high output individuals. So I'm wanting to ask, hey, what, what kind of things can I ask uh, Tim that would be good for my audience? And so I've given it a little bit of information that I'm a podcast host. The name of my personal podcast is called Rogue Startups. And what, what are some questions that I could ask Tim? So ChatGPT, really smart. The way I like to think about it is it's like a really super smart uh, like college freshman, right? So they're at Harvard or Brown or whatever. And you just say, hey, please go read all the internet that's all the information that's available in the world as of a couple of years ago and give me an answer on this. And it does it in a few seconds. So these are, uh, these are pretty good, right? So it mentions his book, Tribe of Mentors, uh, his investing strategy. Yeah, he's super big on kind of uh, physical and mental health. So some interesting questions there. For our work week, right? Literally everyone has, has read or you know uh, listened to this book, and he has his own podcast, right? So maybe that's an interesting one. Uh, you've interviewed hundreds of high performing individuals on your own podcast. What are some common habits or characteristics you've seen amongst these individuals that have contributed to your success? So what I want to do is take this and ask it to expound on this. Could you expand on the topic of? And I'll just paste this in from above, talking about his podcast. With Tim's podcast, what are some individuals that he has interviewed that might be interesting to ask him about? So it knows who he's interviewed and is asking, uh, and I'm asking now, you know, what are some of the, the biggest names that he's interviewed uh, and what might I want to ask him about that he's learned specifically from some of these interviews? So Arnold Schwarzenegger, Jocko Wilnick, Naval Ravikant. Tony Robbins, right? The LeBron James, the the, the A list of A lists uh, have been on Tim's uh, show. Okay, so so this is just an example, right? You can you can see I ask it, I give it some information originally, I ask it a question, and then I probe a little bit deeper. This is my favorite trick when interviewing people: is what are some things that Tim might not have talked about before? What are some topics that Tim Ferriss might not have talked about on other podcasts in the past that would be unique questions I can ask him on my podcast? This is the key, right? You don't want to ask a person like Tim Ferriss or Pat Flynn or Tony Robbins the same question that everyone else has asked him. You want to ask unique questions so that your interview stands out from everyone else's. Psychedelic therapy, stoicism. I think he's talked about these a lot, but, but these are just general topics. And this is something we're going to get into in a minute. Uh, that I could delve into, do my own research, and, and probably even use ChatGPT to do this research for me uh, so I don't have to click around a thousand different Chrome tabs. Amazing, right? You can just see how ChatGPT and OpenAI it is just, I like to think of it as a really good research and idea generation tool for you as you're beginning to like put together content formats and ideas and structures for your show. Okay, so I hope that's helpful in giving you a feel for how you can use ChatGPT to research guests, come up with good topics or questions you could ask them. 
Let's now move on to a new chat where we're going to come up with ideas from scratch for our own podcast. I'm a podcast host. The name of my podcast is called Audience. It is run by Castos, the podcast hosting platform. What are some topics that I could discuss on my podcast that would be helpful for my listeners who are podcasters and content creators? Again, I've given it information. I'm a podcast host. The name of my podcast is Audience. Audience is a bit of a general term and it might get confused, but so I said it's by Castos. And then what are some topics that I could use to uh, to discuss, right? So it's giving me 10 questions, right? Uh, or 10 topics to, to begin with. Uh, I might say, ooh, this one's super interesting, <laughs> right? This is everyone's favorite thing. Let's expound on that a bit. I like the topic of you know, pasting in the result from number five above. So just Command C or Control C on your computer and then Command V. Uh, and when you hit Shift and Enter, on the the chat prompt, it knows that the bit that you're putting in there is different than the prompt you're typing. Can you give an outline of a podcast episode on this topic? So it's going to say, okay, I'm going to go look at this topic and let's dive deep into it. And it'll, it'll give me an outline of it, right? Introduction, microphones, right? Everyone's favorite thing. This is a Samsung Q2U. Absolutely love it. Uh, Audio interface, right? If you're going to not plug this right into your computer, do you need something like a Scarlett Focusrite? Headphones, recording software, right? This is just amazing, right? This is all the stuff we all know because we're podcasters. But if you're creating content from scratch uh, on a topic that you're not super familiar with, maybe this is invaluable. This is saving you hours and hours and hours of work. And it's it's mostly right all the time, right? Accessories, editing software, recording software. Okay, so this is just an example of how you could think about using ChatGPT and OpenAI to research a topic. Uh, and so let's just go one one step further. Let's say audio interfaces. What is an audio interface and why might I want to use one as a podcaster? What benefits and drawbacks does using one have for audio? So amazing, right? It, it literally knows everything <laughs> that, that was on the internet as of two years ago. Uh, and so the, a lot of times these are, these are just really good beginning points, right? So instead of me going and researching a bunch of topics, I just ask and it gives me, it gives me the answer. If you really deeply know the topic, you might say, mm, this is not quite right. But, but again, directionally, it's going to get you 95% of the way there with just a couple of minutes of work. Uh, and it gives you some good talking points for you to then go on and structure your thoughts at least. To me, AI and ChatGPT is really good at synthesizing information, doing research, and, and creating lists uh, for you to go from. You can see that from our first two examples here. So the next place we're going to talk about AI tools to help you as a podcaster is if you're just getting started... We have a tool to help you name your podcast. If you're just starting from scratch, don't have a show already, you got to come up with a name. It's a really hard process. And so we've built a free tool for you. If you go to castos.com slash tools, you can check it out and it'll help you create a name for your podcast. So here at castos.com slash tools, scroll down and click the podcast name generator button. So the podcast name generator, all you need is a keyword here. And so since I'm, I like startups, I might say I want to have podcasts all about startups. And so it gives you a list, an enormous list of, of kind of one word names for my podcast. So Startup Storm, Jump Startups, Startups Vibe. Uh, and not only are we giving you kind of some, some different fonts and looks for what a logo might look like, it's also telling you that all of these domains are available. So say, I like Startup Space, click this and it opens up a very popular domain registrar called Namecheap for you to register this domain. It's a real best practice to use your own domain name for your podcast website even if you're using the built-in podcast website that Castos creates for you, you can point that custom domain, in this case, it would be startupspace.com, to your Castos website. So fully branded and matches your kind of look and feel, it has the cover image and colors and fonts to match the look and feel for your podcast website. We just create it for you automatically for free every time. So if you click on this, it'll open up Namecheap and you can register the domain there. And it's usually about 10 or 15 bucks a year. Invaluable for the branding of your podcast long-term. The last way we're going to use ChatGPT and OpenAI as podcasters is with transcripts to create summaries, social quotes, short clips even, and captions for our podcast. So transcripts are really easy to get. Castos offers them out of the box. You just sign up 10 cents a minute and it does it for you automatically. You can go to castos.com slash integrations to learn more about that. If you're using an editing tool like Descript, they also do it for you. It's included with your subscription there. So what you want to do is grab the transcript of your episode and come back in and start a new chat in ChatGPT. 
So here in my Castos account, I can see our newest podcast, The Limelight, in our first episode with Amy Austin from A Time to Thrill. And I click on the title of the episode, and we've already written a summary for this, but I scroll down a little bit, and I can see we have the transcript here. So let me copy all of this, and I'll go back to ChatGPT, paste this in to give it information, right? Within a chat thread, we can educate the model. So started a new chat. We're going to put in a part of the transcript from our conversation with Amy Austin from A Time to Thrill on our new show, The Limelight. From the transcript below, please create a 500-word summary of the podcast episode. Right. Amazing. Right. You give it a bunch of text. There is a limit on the amount of text you can give it. Um, and, and so what you might need to do if it's a really long episode is give it a chunk and then give it another chunk and then say, OK, summarize those two chunks, if you will. So so this is a bit of a limitation with the chat GPT interface like this. If you're using the API and you're a developer, there are ways where I can just process the whole thing. But uh, look at this. This is amazing. In this episode, Craig Hewitt interviews Amy Austin of A Time to Thrill. It's great, right? So so this is a really good uh, set of show notes, right, for this episode. Okay, so let's feed it the transcript again and ask it for quotes. From the transcript below, please pull five quotes that I could use on Twitter to promote this podcast episode. Please use emojis, because come on, everyone loves emojis, <laughs> where appropriate, and the quotes should each be less than 280 characters. Okay, paste the transcript in, and let's see what they have to say. Right, great. Cool emojis. Uh, you know, my thing with AI and ChatGPT at this point is not all of these are going to be perfect, right? It's not perfect. It's learning all the time. It's getting better. The, the speed of innovation with AI is amazing. Literally every week, there's a, a major breakthrough. Uh, so you might ask it for five and it's might say, well, I, you know, two of these are okay. And most of these are garbage. Um, this one's pretty good, right? Like I would, if I saw this on Twitter, I'd say, ooh, that's cool. You know what's great though? Is you can just say, hey, give me five more. <laughs> it just does it again. It's that, it's that, you know, college freshman that never gets tired, right? It literally knows everything, super smart, can work hard. Um, and you might just you know, say, give me more, give me more, give me more till you get a couple that are really great. The beauty of this, I think, is it reduces our cognitive load as creators because we don't have to do all this creative work. When you say, please do this for me again. Cool thing about open AI that we're seeing here is, uh, you know, it's it's always looking to, to learn. So I'm going to say these are about the same. I haven't read all of them. But so you might say, cool, I can I can grab this and just put, put it into Twitter and fire it off, right? So so that's really cool. And last one I'm going to do is tweet threads, right? Because tweet threads are all the rage these days. Uh, let's say, please create a tweet thread to promote the podcast episode from the transcript below. Tweet threads are, you know, threaded conversations, 280 characters or less, uh, and they uh, they kind of tell a story over time, right? So instead of just one tweet, this is a tweet thread. Amazing, right? Uh, whether this is all perfect, nah, we don't we don't really know, but but it's just giving it to us, giving us food for thought, maybe in a starting place. The one of the cool things about ChatGPT and OpenAI is it solves the blank page problem, right? So blank page is you're staring at this page, and you don't know what to write. You can just ask it for it. Um, and if you don't like it, you can just say, please do this again. And you might take parts of the first one and parts of the second one. Uh, and in the end, you have some really great marketing content for your show to promote it on social media in an effective way uh, without burning a lot of, um, you know, that kind of creative juice that that's so important for us all. I hope that's helpful in just sharing a few ways where chat GPT and AI can really help you as a podcaster create more content, uh, create it easier and quicker and really lighten the cognitive load for us. I think one of the things as as creators is there's there's so much that we have to get right. It's audio, it's video, it's lighting, it's backdrop, uh, much less, you know, talking to our audience and marketing our show and planning our next content, figuring out a promotional strategy. If we can use AI and chat GPT to alleviate just a little bit of this load and make us work smarter, not harder, I, I think it's a huge win. Uh, I use the analogy several times where I like to think of uh, you know, ChatGPT and OpenAI as like a really smart assistant. I use the term like a college freshman, but but you can <laughs> they can be whatever age you want them to be. But I think it's a really healthy framework for us to say, okay, uh, I'm going to give you this information. Please summarize it or synthesize it, or based on this information, please create a list of topics I could talk about. That's the kind of level we want to think about when we're using ChatGPT and OpenAI at the beginning. And then the amazing thing is it's it's like peeling the onion. The more you learn about it, the more fancy tools and plugins and extensions that you can use. We're going to be covering that a lot in future episodes here on the YouTube channel. 
If you're not already, please subscribe and like. Drop any kind of feedback you have in the comments below. This is hugely helpful for me and would love to hear how you're using AI for your podcast. Thank <laughs> you.